I just think with women's fitness, there's so much nonsense written about it. And it's so like, there's pressure on people to look like things because Instagram and social media only gives you one view of it. Like a lot of these women posting stuff, no one's gonna post a shit picture, are they? They don't look like this 365 days a year. You've got to take things with a pinch of salt. You've got to realize, you've got to read between the lines, you've got to do some analysis and you've got to be comfortable in your own skin. And I think you should use people as inspiration, but find your own path and don't ever go on someone else's profile and insult them or speak about it because you know, people say stuff to me, and, and they're, they're, they're parents with kids. Mm. And they're like rugby fans, and sports fans are like mad, and it like, it, there's nothing more passionate than an angry sports fan in any sport in the world. Um, they, get very, they get very passionate. And then you're, like, they're, they're dropping the C-bomb, and you're going, there you've got a, like a 10-year-old daughter on your profile. Imagine in 10 years, someone's going to be saying that to your daughter. Mm. But they don't think, because no. no one engages with anything. So you know, in the book, I just try to explain to women that, that be comfortable with who you are. Stick with what you're doing. Don't look at what she's doing over there and insult her. You know, if, as I said, if she's got muscly and looks like that, she's comfortable and looks beautiful, that's her thing. If you want to be something totally different, do it. But don't tell her you didn't want to do it because it's just bizarre.